welcome to make easy guys today in this video i will be explaining you how to write a code to generate the fibonacci series first of all let me explain you what is fibonacci series okay so fibonacci series is the number series which follow the rules like this okay initially you need to take a two numbers that can be 1 1 1 2 0 1 like that so for now i am taking here 1 and 2 right addition of last two number will be the next number sum of two number sum of last two number will be the next number so in here you can see we have two numbers that is addition of last two number sum of last two number this is last number is 2 second last number is 1 so addition of these two number will be the next number so 2 plus 1 will be 3 right now again addition of last two number so that means 3 plus 2 these are the last two numbers 3 plus 2 will be 5 so it will be the next number again sum of last two number will be the next number sum of last two means 5 plus 3 that is 8 will be the next number again sum of last two number last two number is this 8 and 5 so 8 plus 5 is 13 it is the next number again sum of last two number 13 plus 8 that is 21 this is the next number so the fibonacci series follow these rules if our starting number is 1 and 1 again sum of last two number 1 plus 1 will be the next number that is 2 again sum of last two number 2 plus 1 is 3 again sum of last two number 3 plus 2 is 5 again sum of last two number 5 plus 3 is 8 8 plus 5 is 13 13 plus 8 is 21 so in this way it generates hope you understand what fibonacci series is now question can be asked in different ways like write a program to generate fibonacci series 1 1 2 3 5 this is the fibonacci series up to 10th term as here i have written 1 2 3 4 5 6 up to 7th term i have written you need to generate the fibonacci series up to 10th term so you need to use looping concept for loop or do i loop or while loop i will explain you in easiest way with the for loop so watch till the end and you will be 100 percent clear write a program to generate fibonacci series up to 15th term so the number is not given so you can get, take 1 1 or 1 2 or 1 3 starting value or 0 1 your choice last way is the program will be given to you you need to find the output of the given program by dry run the program so you need to show this step by step calculation and display the result in this way you can do or in another way also you can do i have explained that in my previous video you can watch that or which will be easy for you just you need to display loop values true false and calculation and you can just write down the final output in this way okay i have written a program here so i will show you the dry run of the program okay before we dry run the program the main logic of this program is here inside the for loop so initially i have taken a equals to one b equals to one and then i am printing those value a b why i am printing those value because in the fibonacci series we need to take two initial number and we need to print those numbers one one so i have done same a equals to one and b equals to one and i'm printing print a print b so in the output screen one and the next number one will be printed the next number will be the addition of these two number these two last two number so one one so inside the for loop i am running loop for i equals to one to eight the loop will execute eight times why eight times because we have already printed two times and in the question it is mentioned you need to print fibonacci series up to 10th term so initially before the loop i have printed two times and i am running loop eight times so total will be 10 times 10th up to 10th term it will be printed because inside the loop also i am printing only once okay so inside the loop c equals to a plus b initially two value is printed one one so value of a is one and value of b is also one initially so value of a is one and value of b is also one initially now i am starting a loop 
for i equals to 1. So for i equals to 1 means initially the loop value will be 1 and condition is true because it is going to run up to 8 times. Now c equals to a plus b. Why I am doing this? Because we need to add last two number then we will get the next number. So c equals to a plus b means value of a is 1, value of b is also 1. So that will be 2. So print c. Okay. After adding this last two number, we need to print. So I'm printing C and C value is 2. That's nice. Last two number, addition of these last two number is next number that is 2. That's great. Now, after doing this, we need to add these two numbers 2 plus 1. But in variable A and B, I have 1, 1 only. So we need to change the value. So what I'm doing here is A equals to B. Inside the a variable, I need to keep the value of b, that is 1. So, I will keep here value of b, that is 1. Then next, b equals to c. Inside the b variable, I need to keep the value of c because b equals to c. So, inside c, that is 2. I need to keep that value in b. Now, value of a is 1, value of b is 2. And we got the value, that is last number is 2 in variable b and second last number is 1 in variable 1. That's nice. Then next i. Next i means i equals to i plus 1. That is i value is already 1. So it will be 2. Okay. After incrementing, it will go back to the loop here. Now value of i is 2. Then condition is true because it will run up to 8 times. Fine. Now value of a is 1. Value of b is 2. I got the value. Last two values. So we need to add c equals to a plus b. So value of b is what? 2. Value of a is what? 1. So 2 plus 1 will be or 1 plus 2 will be 3. And then after calculating print c. Print c means value of c will be printed that is 3. 3 is printed. Now you can check 2 plus 1 addition of last two digit will be the next digit. Next number. So 3 is printed. Done. After printing again next time we need to add this 3 and 2. But in variable a and B what we have we have 1 and 2 but we need to add 3 plus 2 so again we need to change the value so C equals A equals to B in A I need to keep the value of B that is 2 then in B we need to keep the value of C so B equals to C means inside B I will keep the value of C that is 3 now in variable A and B we got the last two values last two numbers 3 and 2 that's great so I have written here a equals to b and b equals to c. Then next i. Next i means value of i will be incremented and it will be 3. After incrementing it will go to the loop. Now i value is 3 and it will run up to 8 so condition is true. Then again c equals to a plus b. c equals to a plus b means value of a is 2 value of b is 3. So 2 plus 3 is 5. Then print c. Print c means 5 will be printed because the value of c is 5. Now we can check 3 plus 2. Addition of last two number is the next number. It is running and it is giving the correct results. So in this way it works. So it will run up to 8 time. It is written here up to 8. So when the value of i will be 9, the condition will be false and it will be printed up to 10th term. Hope you understand the logic. So Let's execute this program in QBasic and let's test whether it will give the correct result or not. I've written the same code as you can see and it is printed 10th time that means up to 10th <coughs> term. Because two times I have already printed inside the loop I am printing it here which is loop will run 8 times so it will be total 10 times it will be printed and you can see the result it is giving perfectly Fibonacci series. Now if question asks you to print up to 15th term so you need to write here 15 no you need to write here 13 because two times already printed before the loop. So now run the program 2 plus 13 is 15. So let's run and see the result. As you can see you can count the values and you can check the series addition of last two number will be the next number. So in this way it works. Hope you understand this concept, understand this video. Please click on the like button, click on the subscribe button and share with your friends. Have a good day and see you in the next video.